I read the script and obviously it was Peter Bogdanovich who was gonna be directing and who wrote it with Louise. And um, that in itself was just so exciting to read. I guess a piece of material that is so hard to come by now, you know, it's, um, it just reminded me immediately of movies in the, the 70s and 80s and the, obviously the set and the background that Peter comes from. Those are the movies that I, I love so much. So I just, I went to New York to meet him and sat down and spoke about the, the script and the role and life and just fell in love with it um, and was lucky enough to, to come onto the project. Izzy is a Brooklyn girl and she is earning a living by being a hooker. And um, until, she has this dream of being an actress, but um, it's sort of something that's very much at the back of her mind and she doesn't ever think will be a reality. Um, it's something that her parents have kind of dulled down and kind of broken the dream a bit. So when she meets Arnold, Owen's character um, as Derek, um, on one of her jobs. He, uh, he kind of inspires her to, f to follow her dream and she goes on an audition and, and um, worlds start to collide and that's where the sort of drama um, begins. Working with Owen is so wonderful. Uh, he's such a gentle guy and, um, and so funny, so sweet. Just everybody on this cast is um, completely different, I suppose, in their energies, but everyone fuses together. And um, I think the dynamic between Peter and him is very special. Um, and obviously Peter's setting the tone for the set um, and he kind of dictates the energy and the vibe, but just really comfortable and a, and a really exciting, uh, fun place to come to work every day. Everybody does have a connection to Izzy in their own way. It's a sort of very unhealthy obsession that the judge has. Um, and I think that's interesting too, is considering there's uh, Will Forte's character, Josh, who's the writer of the play, and then Owen's character, Arnold, and the judge. They've all got a slightly uh, different sort of uh, obsession. Like it's a different aspect of obsession. The judge far more so like bordering on sinister. I think what's exciting more and more, which I'm discovering is, you know, the, well, exciting and so important is the director. However uh, well written a piece of material is, it has to be the person who's um, the artist behind it that's gonna um, compose the piece, as it were, uh, in their style. And Peter is just an incredible filmmaker. He will shoot and will do this with the edit in mind. So you don't necessarily take a scene the whole way through, you'll cut. And so the coverage is therefore limited, but it's in a great way because you sort of know exactly where you are at any given point. Um, and on this project specifically, we've, we've managed to do quite a lot of uh, scenes in one shot, which could seem like a complete mind bleep, but he's sort of managed to navigate it with our wonderful DOP Yaron. Um, and he, he always says how two shots are terrific because it's then up to the audience to decide who they're gonna watch in the shot. And I think that's a really classic and fantastic way to assemble a, f a film.